I'm Giuseppe Lanzino, professor of neurosurgery and uh, radiology at the Mayo Clinic, and uh, we have been uh, involved uh, with some of the early clinical studies which have eventually led to the uh, FDA approval of the one of the devices to provide flow diversion for intracranial aneurysms. Uh, flow diversion is a new uh, philosophical approach to the treatment of intracranial aneurysms. From an endovascular point of view, traditionally we have treated the aneurysms, uh, filling the aneurysm itself with coils. With this uh, new approach, uh, a device is placed across the aneurysm neck uh, and uh, the device diverts flow away from the aneurysm back into the normal vessel and eventually this leads uh, to uh, occlusion of the uh, aneurysm. A new approach with flow diversion uh, uh, is uh, in indicated in some uh, selected uh, patients uh, with uh, complex uh, aneurysms located uh, along the proximal segment of the intracranial carotid artery. Aneurysm, uh, and these are aneurysms that uh, traditionally are very challenging to treat effectively either with uh, current uh, surgical techniques or with the current uh, endovascular techniques. This uh, new approach uh, opens uh, a, a new uh, therapeutic option for uh, those patients uh, who have um, very large or giant aneurysms of this uh, segment of the internal carotid artery, which quite often in the past uh, would have required uh, complex bypass techniques uh, and uh, complete occlusion of the aneurysm as well as the normal vessel. Uh, we have been part of uh, uh, multi-centers uh, uh, studies uh, that uh, have looked at the um, safety and effectiveness of uh, these devices and uh, we have uh, treated uh, over uh, 30 uh, patients uh, with uh, aneurysms uh, in this particular location with uh, flow diversion. I will explain now with the series of uh, drawings uh, and then uh, an angiogram of a large uh, aneurysm uh, how the concept of flow diversion works. This uh, uh, series of uh, drawings uh, uh, summarizes uh, how flow diversion works for intracranial uh, aneurysms. In this uh, drawing uh, we see a, a schematic uh, aneurysm and uh, as blood flows uh, through the vessel, enters the aneurysm and then uh, leaves the aneurysm, uh, creating uh, flow inside the aneurysm itself. With the flow diverters, a device is placed uh, across uh, the neck of the aneurysm and what the device uh, does, uh, it changes the flow pattern so that uh, blood flow it's redirected uh, away from the aneurysm uh, back into the normal vessel. Over time, this uh, flow diversion uh, induces a certain amount of uh, clot formation uh, inside the aneurysm, and uh, eventually this blood clot leads uh, to complete uh, aneurysm uh, occlusion. And uh, as we have seen uh, with uh, MRIs, as the blood clot inside the aneurysm forms uh, a sort of scar, eventually will retract, uh, leading uh, to uh, shrinkage uh, and uh, even uh, disappearance uh, of the aneurysm while the anatomy of the normal vessel is preserved. In this angiogram, uh, we see a very large um, aneurysm arising uh, from uh, the cavernous portion of the internal carotid artery. This uh, plain radiograph uh, illustrates the placement of uh, three devices, uh, one within the other, to reconstruct the curvature of the normal vessel in that specific segment. And uh, this is uh, the follow-up angiogram uh, six months uh, later, showing that the aneurysm is no longer visualized and uh, the normal anatomy has been uh, restored.